Tonight, the future of the TV show Caught in Providence is up in the air. It's not yet clear if Chief Providence Municipal Court Judge Frank Caprio will be reappointed to the bench. Target 12 investigator Steph Machado just spoke to the new Providence City Council president and joins us now live in studio with what she's calling for. Amid questions into how Caught in Providence is allowed to operate out of the municipal court, the new council president, Rachel Miller, is asking the city's top lawyer to conduct a review of the show's relationship with the city and any potential conflicts with ethics rules. Judge Frank Caprio has risen to national fame thanks to the TV show Caught in Providence, produced in part by his family members. The municipal court inside the Providence Public Safety Complex deals with things like parking tickets and speed camera violations. Today we asked just for a formal opinion, a kind of a rundown on uh, state, local, judicial ethics. Um, on the show specific um, to the court. The new city council president, Rachel Miller, says she wants answers on the show's relationship with the city and the court. At one time on public access, the show in recent years has had a national syndication deal with a subsidiary of Lionsgate and was even nominated for a daytime Emmy, raising questions about whether the city should be receiving funds for the program's use of the court. And do you think it's appropriate for the judge's family to make money off of a show in his courtroom? I think that I am not a lawyer um, and not an ethicist, right? And so it is the moment to ask for the expert opinion and let the council um, be guided in their decisions based on that. City leaders have not been able to locate any agreement between the production company owned by Judge Caprio's brother and son and the city. Back in 2015, the State Ethics Commission said it was okay for the judge's brother to make money on the show as long as the judge does not and as long as any other member of the public has the same access to videotape the proceedings. Does the public have the same access? as the company that's producing the show. You know, what happens when a person declines uh, to be filmed for the show? Um, you know, how are they treated by the court? Common Cause Rhode Island's John Marion says things have changed since that 2015 opinion, including which family members are involved. We know at least one of the significant facts uh, that he shared with the uh, Ethics Commission uh, is no longer the same. So it kind of begs the question of, are any of the other facts uh, that he represented uh, different. Judge Caprio did not respond to our requests for an interview Monday, but said this on WPRO radio. I have not made one dime on, on this, on the syndication, on anything to do with court and providence, not one. And David Caprio, the judge's son, who co-owns the show's production company, also declined to comment. Now, I've also asked Mayor Smiley's office several times for his opinion on the matter. He has not yet weighed in. I'm Steph Machado, 12 News.